I've been called a bad mom for waxing my three-year-old, but I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I decided to wax my daughter's eyebrows because I was bullied as a kid. I dealt with years of insecurity. The viral video of me waxing Bliss. There was a whole lot of people who sent hateful, evil comments, death threats, accusing me of injecting my kids with Botox, calling me a horrible mother, calling me their first bully. It got crazy. How do you feel about Leah deciding to wax your daughters? A typical day in the Garcia house is work, the kids, and uh, whatever it is that they got going on. School, sports, gymnastics, cheer, cleaning, cooking, it's... It's a madhouse every single day. She claims that she does all the work and I just drive them around, but I guess I'm a, a professional chauffeur. My name is Leah Garcia. I am 31 and I am a realtor slash content creator. I've been married to Leonard for nine years. I have four children. I've been called a bad mom for waxing my three-year-old, but I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I had a really good upbringing. I got teased for being hairy. So I was always pretty insecure about that. Being hairy was embarrassing. Not being able to shave or having more hair than the boys, it was just humiliating. Somebody was gonna bring up how hairy I was in elementary school. Um, I didn't need to wait till middle school to get bullied. It, it started at a very, very, very young age. I actually remember being even younger, like before school age, and adults would comment on how thick my eyebrows were. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to be able to remove any body hair till I was 15, but I would go behind my parents' back and I would pluck my eyebrows or shave my eyebrows. Um, the hair on my arm, I used to turn on the gas stove and I would run my arm across the fire so it would burn off my hair. Um, so I found ways around it. I decided to wax my daughter's eyebrows because it's a quarter inch of hair and removing that would solve years of trauma. And so I removed it and I'm gonna continue to remove it. I waxed Bliss for the first time when she was two. Bahati was about three or four. How do you feel about Leah deciding to wax your daughters? <laughs> um, in the beginning, I questioned it a little bit. I kind of thought like, why are we, you know, why would you wax our, my, my daughter? It was a, a joint decision uh, that we made together, uh, but it took a little bit of explaining. Like I needed, a, I needed to have the backstory before I agreed to it. I asked Bahati if she wanted to get waxed. With Bliss, Bliss would always see me wax Bahati's eyebrows. So she asked me several times. Obviously not because she was aware that she had a unibrow, but just because she wanted to do what Big Sister does. So her unibrow was a little more pronounced than Bahati's. So I was like, I'm gonna have to do it eventually anyway. I might as well do it while she's asking. Do you think it's an inappropriate to wax your children at such a young age? No. If you've ever had a unibrow, you understand the hurtful comments that can come from that. And so if I can take any of that away from them and keep them from being exposed to the ugly part of that, then I will, no matter how much hate that it comes with for me. Why don't you put those on your lips? Ready? One, two, three. Ow, oh, that hummy. How, Mom? That hummy stuff. All right, girl, now you got two eyebrows. No more Florida brow. I made the viral video of me waxing bliss to bring awareness and let parents know it's okay to wax. If, if your children want it removed, do it. You're not hurting your child, you're actually helping them. The online response from the video, it was a mix. There was a lot of people who were on board and then there was a whole lot of people who didn't understand it and who bashed me and sent hateful, evil comments, messages, emails, death threats, like it got crazy. People accusing me of injecting my kids with Botox, calling me a horrible mother, um, calling me their first bully, just horrible things like that. I think the worst one, I got a direct message of somebody threatening to cut my head off if I didn't stop waxing her eyebrows. Because I already knew the backstory and I knew why we were doing it, um, I of course was offended, um, you know, got angered at a couple of the messages. I would much rather us get bashed for it 
then to, for somebody to say something to my daughter and me feel like I have to go up there and defend, you know, her feelings. I do not regret posting that TikTok at all. I am unapologetically myself. Um, I do not take back anything. That's who I am. My content on my TikTok is about me just being real. I'm not gonna fake it. I got my my wax is warm. This is for sensitive skin, so it's not gonna hurt them. And then I just cut out the wax strips. And then these are the sticks that I use. We're ready to go. Bliss asked me, she, um, she sees me wax her big sister all the time. She sees me get waxed all the time. So she asked me several times before I finally said yes. With Bahati, I asked her if she wanted to. Turn this way, the light. My girl's unibrow grows down, so I pull in the opposite direction and go up. Did that hurt, please? No. There you go. Thanks. Okay, I wax Sissy's eyebrows. Do you, do you want me to wax your eyebrows? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Give me sugars. I love you. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three. There you go. <laughs> Good job. This is all of the hair that comes off. Just a little bitty piece of hair, no big deal. No tears, minimal pain, and no bullying. I would just like to say that I am not bullying my child. I am not forcing my children to wax their eyebrows. I am not causing pain. I am not causing insecurity. We have raised our children to know that they are beautiful and they are perfect. And removing a unibrow is no different than taking your child to get a haircut. It's no different than when you pierce your baby's ears. They don't know that you're piercing their ears. They didn't ask you to pierce their ears. They didn't say, mommy, I want earrings. They're babies. They have never shed a tear over it. I'm doing this with the purest heart because I genuinely care and I want to protect my children. So if that makes me a bad mother, then so be it. I'm sure there's things that you do that I would disagree with, but uh, I'll keep my uh, opinion to myself and allow you to raise your own child. I will definitely continue to wax my daughter's eyebrows until they tell me to stop. If I had a message to the haters who disagree with my parenting style, I would say, good thing I'm not your mom. I am their mom, so their opinion is the only one that matters to me.